the area of the resulting field sizes, or okay, we should find the area, right? Mm -hmm. uh, look in this figure. I connect this one, I connect this one, I connect the center by symmetry. You can say center passes through this and this, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can hear what you said again. I said, uh, the agree, we can say these two points, if you connect them, it passes through the center by symmetry, right? By symmetry, yeah. it passes through. So also this one. So if you find this area, we should multiply it by what to calculate the whole area. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Would that be six segments? No, that should be... Wait, would it be six? Okay, let's see. That connects there. That would connect there. Hmm. I'm not sure. It is. Okay, so that takes up that much of that. And then there's. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight times eight. Exactly. You should walk that way. So the answer is eight times area of OABC, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want to split this area to different parts. Uh, one part is ODE, right? Agree. Yes. Area of ODE is what? Yes. How about area of ODE? Uh, the sides are one, that is one half. That also should be one half. And then it's one eighth. One over? Hmm? One, one, one over eight. eight. Exactly. One half times one half over. One over eight. Now we should focus on this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's extend this one. Connect this. Uh, do you agree we should calculate this area and this area? Then the problem will be solved. Yeah. Because look, yeah. it is 90 degree, 90 degree, and 90 degree, and you can calculate these angles. So first focus yes. on calculating area of, it's not hard, area of A, B, E, B. Okay? Okay. Try. It's one. Yes. Um, just to give us the x. But that does seem to be one. Okay, so I think the area would be one half. Why it's one half? So you you know it is one. You want to prove it is one half, right? It is one. Wait, one this one uh, is one half. But but why? Oh wait, this, is... this one is one. Yeah. Look, um, this one is one half. I, I agree. Yes. yes. But why do you you you? you Consider, assume that this one is one, right? But if you think it's oh. one, prove it. And I don't think it's one. But... Actually, I think I might have. Wait, one sec. How Look, I... this okay, area is D, 80 times D, right? Mm -hmm. D is one half, so it is 80 over 2, right? Yes. So now our goal is to find 80. Calculate 80 first on your own. That would be an isosceles triangle with one half. I think I might know how to find it, but I forgot the formula for that okay. kind of Let me triangle. Do some. Do you agree? We know this length, if you calculate this length, if you subtract one, it would be B or A, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We should learn that in a hexagon, how you should calculate length of diagonal, right? Length of the what? Length of uh, the diagonal. Oh, yes. Okay, so let me... 
copy a hexagon for each floor. Um, uh, it is so much important to find all diagonals of hexagon and also uh, for regular octagon. Let me show you here what. So it is a regular one. Okay, so we want to find all properties of this field A, B, C, D, E, F. At first, can you tell me each angle is what angle, for example? Okay, six sides. 60 degrees. This angle is 60 Wait, no, that doesn't... No, no, no. No. That's weird. 360. Oh, wait, no, that's of the small... I think it would be... Okay, when we do that, that's where we're finding that angle. So it's, it's... That's 60, so then, yeah, okay. Then that would be 60. Okay, it'll be 120 each. Why? Um, I mean, we were told if you're making a triangle from the origin to let me tell you, you know, you know, in a in a polygon with n sides, some of the angles is equal to what? Three sixty over n. No, no, that's ang. Uh -huh, the thing you are saying is this angle. Okay. Oh, I see. I said mm -hmm. some, it is only one exterior angle. One exterior angle is that. But I've meant for a regular polygon. But I said for any polygon, some of the angles is equal to what in terms of n. Do you know the formula is what? I don't think I do. Okay, so let me write some of the interior angles in a polygon with n sides. So can you tell me if you can a polygon with n sides, you can split it into how many triangles? A polygon with n sides. Let's see. Huh. I know I could split this into. Oh. Uh, when you say split it, into triangles, do you mean from corner to corner and they can't repeat or? Look, for example, here when we have six, we can split into four triangles, right? Yes. So n for n, it would be n minus what? Okay. N minus two. Exactly. And the some of the angles of each triangle is what? The 180. 180. So some of the angles would be 180 times the n minus. Okay. Okay. So let me make this. Okay, 180 times n minus two. Now, because here it is regular polygon. If you have a regular polygon, you say okay, some of the angles is this. You divide it by what? You divide it by what to find each angle if it is regular like this. You divided by however many sides it has. Yes, case. by n, right here, 6. So 180 times 4 over 6, right? Mm -hmm. It is 30, 4 times 30, 120. So each angle is 120. For all regular polygons, if you want to find the angle, you should use this, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you why exterior angle is at 360 over n. Because the angle is 180 minus 180 n minus 2 over n. The angle is this. Um, if we consider this one alpha. Yeah, yeah. Because it's 180 be. minus this one, right? Mm hmm Okay, so if you simplify, it is 180 n over n is 1. So it is again minus 180 minus minus plus 2 times 180, 360 over n, right? Mm -hmm. So we can cancel. So alpha is 360 over n. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is the second point. Now, suppose it is A. So do you agree all sides should be A? 
Yes, let's recall. Now calculate area of A, B, C, D, E, F in terms of A. Okay. Terms of A. Okay, so let's put that up into six triangles. Where's my? Okay. That means six times. Oh wait, wait. This is okay. Six times that, then that be. They would all be equal lateral, I'm pretty sure. So that would be what? Red 3 squared. So would that be uh, 6 times A squared times red 3 over 4? Good job. Because you're going to split into 6 triangles, 6 isosceles, 6 equilateral triangles, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. Root 3 over 4, so we found it. Now let's calculate length of diagonal. So let me copy this figure. Okay. In the first step, we want to find length of VD. Okay. Calculate, try to calculate VD in terms of A. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's now when I saw Celia's. And I say this. I'm not sure how to find the height of the triangle. Okay, let me tell you. Uh, let's draw there are different ways for calculating this. One way to use can use cosine law. Another way. Is this can tell me this angle is what? That angle should be um sixty. Oh, it's a thirty, sixty, ninety. This angle is what? That angle, angle should be <clears throat> 30. Yes, the, the reason is this. Look, here it's 120, so there it, it is equal to this, you can see CD. So mm -hmm. it's 30, this one also is 30, right? Yes. And we know this angle is 90, right? Because it is 120. This angle is what then? 60. Yes, because it is 60, it is A, so this length is what? So that length would be red 3A. This is A root 3 over 2, A root 3 over 2, so B is A root 3, right? Yeah, I think I see. And then okay. we'd have A for height. So we found A this length, right? Mm -hmm. Now that we found it is A root 3, so here you can use it. It is F. Because you found this, you can find AD is what? Try to find AD now. Okay, start half of A. Um, one half to red three over two, and then combining that, that would be red three. Red three minus one. Exactly, because we said A root three, here A is one, so this one is root three, root three minus one, right? Understood how mm -hmm. we can okay root three minus one over two because we yes. have a square two. So we found all area of this, right? Okay, so let's go yes. back uh, to this part because one part is left for regular hexagon. Wow. So let's I want to calculate length of let me copy the one oh I oh why like this. Let me do this. Oh, now it's on. Okay. The last part is to calculate uh how many different diagonals do we have if we consider different lengths? How many different diagonals? Different diagonals, I mean, how many, if you consider all diagonals, how many different lengths of Oh, different lengths. Okay, so that's one. That's two. Yeah, that's the same. That should also be the same. We should have three different lengths? No, two, because look, for example, if you consider B, this one, BD is equal to BF, right? 
Yes. Only B E B E and B D. Only we have these two. What? If you can't say each diagonal, it is equal to oh, this diagonal. one or oh, this yes. one, That's right. right? Okay, so if you find this, then we know all things about diagonals, all things about area, angles. Okay, so here it is A, it is A, it is A. Try to find CF in terms of A, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, try first on your own. A squared over two. Would it be 1.5 rad um, three A squared over two? Can you say it again? Uh, 1.5 rad three, all of that times A squared over two. No, 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 it's not. It's one thing. Mm, let me try again. I just need to get some paper. Three rad three a squared over four. So would it be three uh, radical three all of that times a squared all over four? No. Mm -hmm. One thing. Let me uh, also only. Draw this too, then you can it. Yeah, that's what I was doing. That's okay, so this length is what? A. Yes. This angle is what? The question mark is what? Oh, I don't know. Well, I know that, know that angle, that, angle that, would that would be 30. Be 30. Exactly. So this length is what in terms of A? A over 2. Exactly. This length is what? Also A over 2. So CF is what? CF, oh wait, I will say, oh, I was trying to find the whole area for some reason. CF would be 2A. 2A finished, okay. And let me tell you something. Your answer, your previous answer had a squared. A squared is for area, not length, right? Yeah. Okay. I for some reason tried to find the area of the whole like segment of the uh -huh. no no no. I wanted to find only CF. So now we know all these properties of a regular hexagon, right? Mm -hmm. After this problem. And we'll work on properties of regular octagon. Okay. okay. So we found this one. We found this one. Only this part is left, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. For calculating this area. Okay. Uh, at first, try first on your own. See, can you find area of BCE? If you find it, then you can solve the problem. Try a bit on your own. See, can you calculate this area? And let me know if you want it. Okay, let's see. That seems to be okay. This over two. Yeah, that should be a one half. Wait. Okay. So it'd be red three minus one over four. Root three minus one over four. This. Yeah. Oh, yeah. let's check. Yeah. Here, we can do what? We can draw this one. And let's use angle chasing. This angle is what? Third. Third, exactly. This angle is what? Uh, that angle should be, yeah, okay, so that, so, <clears throat> and a lens 60, which means, lens, I found that one, um,
just make sure, but would that be 45? Exactly, because it is what? It is 180, let's see. 180, 90, 45, so 45, right? Mm -hmm. So this angle is what? Like this angle is also 45? This, uh, the whole, this angle is what? 60. Yes, good. Now let's call this one N. We want to find area of these two triangles, okay? Can you tell me how can we find length of these things that we have? For example, B N or C. The length of C E. C N is Wait, sorry. Uh, which one did you say? I said we want to find area of these two parts, okay? So how can we find that? Let's do some. Here this length is, let me tell you, this one is x, okay, cn is x, let's call this one x. Then ne is what in terms of x? Uh, so I said, uh, let's call cn x, okay, then ne is what in terms of x? Also okay. x. Exactly. Um, this one is x, bn is what in terms of x? Uh, yeah, that's, that segment's red 3 minus 1. Red 3 minus 1 minus x. Uh, uh huh, you use that? No, no, I want to use this. When it is x, bc is what? Uh, that's 3690. That would be 2x. Oh, exactly. you mean x red 3. Exactly, x root. Because look, I want to use, you use be is root 3 minus 1. I want to use it now to find x. Okay. Now we know x root 3 plus 1 is equal to root 3 minus 1, right? Yes. So x is root 3 minus 1 over root 3 plus 1. If we rationalize it, it's root 3 minus 1 whole square. 3 minus 1 is 2, right? 3 mm -hmm. plus 1, 4 over 2, 2 minus root 3, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the area is x times this part over 2, right? x mm. times x1 plus root 3 over 2, right? Yes, yes. But the height times the base over 2, right? This part we know is root 3 minus 1. So it would be this, x is 2 minus root 3 times root 3 minus 1 over 2, okay? Uh, so if you multiply, it would be minus, okay, let's consider first 2 root 3 plus root 3, 3 root 3. Oh, shit, that's not going to. Minus 2, minus 3 minus 5 over 2, so 1 of plus has Kelly's mistake. You said yeah, this one. I, I have killed yeah, it, or you have killed I think I saw what I did. I tried to make a trapezoid, and I thought that the side lengths would be um one half, but I think I I messed up somewhere with making the uh -huh. trapezoid. Well, you assume some extra assumption. Yeah, uh, it's like. Where you did C C N, I just did the full line across to the other side, and then because I knew the top would be one. You mean so these? Knew, uh, yeah. I tried to do that and then solve for the rest of it since we knew that would be two A, and then I um said okay, okay so, so that's, that's two A. Ah, uh, it is not two A. This one is two A. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because I, didn't I didn't see, see that, that it wasn't. At uh -huh. the half point, because I got confused by the lines. Uh, let, let's check this one to make sure is our calculation correct. Root 3 minus 1, root 3 minus 1 uh, squared. 3 minus 1, which is 2. It is 3 plus 1, 4. 4 over 2 is 2 minus root 3. So it will mm -hmm. be x times x 
1 plus root 3 over 2. Yes. So it is root 3 minus 1. X is 2 minus root 3, root 3 minus 1 over 2, 2 root 3. Plus root 3, 3 root 3, minus 2 minus 3. Okay. Now let's calculate the whole area, okay? Yeah, I guess we can. So it. now we have all things. So calculate the answer. Okay. Wait, so I wanted that minus 20. The area would be 12 red 3 minus 20. So the answer will be which choice? Okay. Oh, wait, that's already written in that form. Okay, so that would be... Hmm. I'm getting negative five, but that's none of the answer choices, but I don't think okay, I'm probably anything. maybe we have kills. So let's check. It is eight times one over eight is one, right? Eight mm -hmm. times this one is four times root three minus one, right? Oh, wait, I, I think I You didn't multiply yeah, by no, that's eight. Just I didn't combine them for some reason, sorry. Let me return uh -huh, okay, so calculate. It'd be 16 plus 3 minus 23, which would give us negative 4. The answer is negative 4? Yes. yes. Okay, let's check. 4 root 3 plus 12 root 3, 16 root 3. 1 minus 4 minus 20, minus 24 minus 23. 19 minus 23 is negative 4. Okay, what's your next question? Um, I think that should be 